Okay, so the way Pay works is that you assign collaborators to products. So you can either go into the product and click on add new collaborator, or you can go to the collaborators page, click invite collaborator. So say collab one. Okay, and then you press save. Okay, and now your collaborator will get an invite email so they can sign up, have their own account. Um, the status here is the PayPal status. So as you can see, they've not provided a payout address. So once they provide a payout address in their account, this will go green. So then once you've invited a collaborator, you click onto their name, and then you can set the payout frequency. Let's, for example, say every two weeks. I want to pay out in USD. Click update. And then what we're going to do now is connect the collaborator to products. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to search t-shirt. Let's attach them to that too. And then trousers. Okay, so we've attached them to three products here. And I'm going to say they get a 25% cut. And then I'm going to press save. Okay. And now this collaborator is attached to these three products. They get a 25% cut on each one. So if we go up to here, then we'll go to the orders page. You can see we have no orders in the store right now because this was an example. So we can go up here. I've got the store open. So here's the two products. Let's add them to cart. So there you go. The order's taking place for £120.97. pence. So now we'll go back to Colab Pay. Refresh the orders page. And here's the order. Open this up. So here you can see we've got the three products that were ordered. You can see how much VAT was included. So it's Great Britain VAT here. But this tax column applies to any tax around the world. It's basically the tax system in Shopify. So what the orders have done here is it's deducted the tax and shipping before the split takes place. So if I go into settings, go to the account, and you can see here tax amounts and shipping amounts. When the total order comes in, the tax and the shipping price will be deducted from the total. Then the split will take place. Of course, you can set these settings to no if you don't want to deduct the tax or shipping before the split. So if we go back to the order, click on this one. So you can see here, so you can see this collaborator has earned these amounts from this order. And what you can see now, if you go to the payouts page, you'll see a payout has been created for the, this collaborator and it'll be paid out in US dollars as we set it in the collaborator page. We'll go into here. You can see the totals were in GBP, but we're going to pay out in USD. And don't forget to set up automatic payouts. You'll need to go to the payout section in settings and follow the guide to set up payouts. If you don't want to set up payouts, you can literally just use ColorPay as a calculation tool and then you can pay collaborators in your own way. So that's all you need to do to get ColorPay up and running.